the thrill of riding mountain curves and twisties. There's nothing like it. So how does Chevron fit into the equation? Well, Chevron could add and enhance your experience when reading the curve. You read the Chevrons correctly, you have more fun reading the curve. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and we're gonna dive into reading Chevrons. But the first thing you need to know that Chevrons are no different than any other tool that you have in your tool shed for riding. You ride the curve like you normally would ride it, but take advantage of reading the Chevrons. The first thing you need to know about this is, it is simple, the closer the Chevrons together, most likely the tighter the corner will be. The far apart, it's probably a big sweeper. So once you got that in mind, then it makes it easier. So what are the most important chevrons you should be looking for? The number one chevron is simple. That is letting you know that, hey, there's a curve coming up. The chevrons in between that is telling you that the curve is continuing. But the most important chevron, 99% of the time, is that very last one. That very last one is actually pointing to your exit, which enhance your riding experience when throttling through going towards the apex. Now keep in mind, do everything you normally would do. You look through the curve if it's not a blind curve. And then you can decide where you want to take your apex. If it's a blind curve, my suggestion, it's only a suggestion based on your riding experience, is to stay on the outside and make a delayed apex. I can't tell you what to do on that, it's your riding experience, but Chevron will enhance your experience. What we're gonna do today, let's get on big easy, go find some Chevrons. Now, that last Chevron, 99% of the times, is correct. It's pointing to your exit. I know out here for sure, there's a road, I hope I can find it for you guys, that that last Chevron does not point to the exit. This curve continues. So you still have to use all your skills, especially, especially in a blind curve. You do not want to go through a blind curve too early and it continue and you run off the road. Now, just like anything else, you do not have to stare at the Chevron. You can see them from a distance. You can see the remaining Chevron with your peripheral vision. And then you can see that last Chevron and you know, this is my exit. 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm gonna go out there and show you Hopefully I can get off the bike and walk you through one, but you know, the camera angle is different when you're riding a bike at speed. I ride the bike at speed through a couple of them and then slow down if I can't find a spot to get off the bike and ride it slow and explain it as I go along. So when you get out there riding those curves, take advantage of just one more tool to having a better ride. So let's get on the bike and get out there and roll. All right, I'm out and about. I hit this back road up pretty close to our house and gonna find some chevrons. Big E then I. Right now the road is pretty straight, so I'm not gonna bore you with the straight part. When we get to the set of chevrons, then you will see what I'm talking about. Now one thing I want you guys to remember that, as I stated earlier, chevrons is just another tool to help you read curves better. Just like anything else, you still want to ride within your skill level, ride your own ride. They're just another tool. When you're riding corners, you know you want to start on that outside, pick your apex based on your skill level and how you ride it, whether you want to do a early or normal or delayed apex. I don't see any chevrons yet. Okay, I see chevrons coming up now. Here's my first set. And all the tools I can see, all the caution things, no vehicles behind me, so I'm gonna slow down and show you this. This one said 30 miles an hour. So if you're unfamiliar, and great thing about the ones coming up is a blind curve. I cannot see around that corner. So I'm riding on the outside. No vehicles behind me, I can slow down a little bit. I can see the first chevron, but can't see the last. I'm not too much worried about the other ones in the middle. They're not too tight but they're tight enough for me to go slow. Now, as I'm riding around, if I was riding at speed, there's my last Chevron right here. And see, it's pointing to the exit right here. 
And with that, if I was riding at speed, I would make a decision on at what point do I want to take my apex. Let's see if we find another set. Here's another set coming up again on a blind curve going to my right. I can see the first one. They are pretty spaced out. So I probably could ride a little higher than I wrote the last one. Later, later, do not see the last one. I see the last one. Nope. There it is right there. There's my exit. And I come in to my apex and throttle through my exit. Here's a curve with none. It's a big sweeper. Stand on the outside. Coming in now to the apex, throttling through. Let's see could we find another set. Maybe do maybe one or two more sets. And then when I have an opportunity to get off the bike and show you pretty close, I will do that also. But right now I'm putting myself to torture. <laughs> oh, the agony of riding curves. <laughs> I would do that just for you all. I will find a spot to get off the bike and do a walkthrough. I'm sure with the first two, you guys probably understand now that you can actually read the chevrons in 99% nine of the time. <laughs> Watch this, people. There's rock right here. Nobody behind me so I can slow down. It's a little turtle rock. It's painted like a turtle. <laughs> That's another one over here somewhere that's painted like an eyeball. But let me continue on. Like I said, 99.9% .9 of the time, that last chevron is going to be correct. It will point to your exit. Here's another set. I'm trying to see, can I find one that doesn't point to the exit? I know there's one around our area. I'm just not sure if this is the road. Slowing down. Slow, 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 slow. Drawler, 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 drawler. There it is. Okay, that's enough for that. Chevrons is just another tool to help you ride corners better. Especially if you ride a blind corner. You want to stay on the outside as much as possible. When I ride blind corners, I always choose to take a delayed apex. If I can see through the corner, then I just pick what I want to do. Early apex, regular apex, or delayed apex. So keep that in mind. And if you're apprehensive about riding corners and twisties and curves, you can always, and my suggestion is do it, you can always take a cornering school, a course, where they focus on cornering techniques more than the speed. Obviously, as you continue on that course, speed will come as the course continues. Let's see if I find one last set. Okay, here's come a set right here. The first two are pretty tight, and the rest of them, I can see the last one, and as you can see, let me slow down a bit, that's my exit, right here. Oh, S-curve, perfect. Here's the beginning of the first one, and there's my last one. I can actually come early on this apex right here and complete it. I might turn around and show you guys that one again. I like that, double curve. Now, let me go find a set that I can actually find a spot to get off the bike and give you a close-up of it okay here's some coming up up here and I see a spot I can go park okay as you can see this is the first chevron of the curve coming up around this area and it's pretty wide so as I'm coming this way I would actually walk all right so if I'm riding and I'm gonna walk ahead and you can see that one up there is the last chevron. So I'm going to get close and face this chevron and just show you that it's the exit. Actually, I can see the exit right now. So that last chevron is actually pointing to my exit. This last chevron, as you can see, I will face it here. And just wait until this vehicle pass. And if I turn 90 degrees, it's a straight road. That is the last chevron. We turn around and go the other way. So it's the first chevron going in this direction. It's Mount Diablo over there. So if, if I was riding in this direction, it's the first chevron. And I'm not looking at all the chevrons. I'm ignoring them. And I can see this Y. 
and here's the last one where my bike is parked let me go up here and just show you this and you can see it from here also I wish I could have done it on a real blind curve so you can see exactly what I'm talking about so I'm gonna ride out here and I see this last Chevron I don't have to stare at it but as I get closer you will see as I get closer if I face this Chevron and just tilt a little bit right there you can see that's my exit going into an S curve so let me get back on the bike and head home <laughs> okay I got the bike the camera on the front of the bike now and what I'm gonna do is just pull out and ride this and show you where that last Chevron clear behind me clear in front cross over and right there that's that last Chevron right there so there's my exit perfect example right there ladies and gentlemen so if you like this type of video go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more coming up and a lot more parking practices and go ahead on and share the channel if you having problems riding curves use those chevrons as tools but remember all your training I'm riding outside, inside, and back out. So that's all I have for now. So you have to be out riding today. Remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I am Rich, and I am out. Peace.